Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Thursday, April 29th. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. This may be your day for a message, and it may not. All right, also don't try and force the reading, you know, if it wasn't meant for you. If it's meant for you, you'll know it. All right, so for some reason I felt the need to pull some romance angel cards and I can see why. All right, so we pull romance angels and we're gonna pick some tarot, possibly some clarifiers and then close out with an oracle. Also, if you like romance readings, I do that on my other channel. And I will put a link down below if you want to check that out. Okay. Let's see, so we have getting to know each other. We have give your relationship a chance and reconciliation. So I feel that for some of you, there may be somebody that's coming back around. Um, I think on Tuesday I did a reading saying that um, somebody's coming back around and for some reason, like I said, I felt like pulling the romance angel um, cards. So again, this is another message saying that somebody is coming back around and this time around, I feel like you have to take things slow and take time to get to know each other again. Um, the cards are saying to give your relationship a chance and this time around it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so maybe last time you really weren't, weren't true to each other you weren't opening up you weren't taking walls down you weren't really expressing how you're feeling you weren't letting that other person in maybe that person wasn't letting you in and this time around you know maybe with you having um spent that time apart that you realize that you do want to be with each other and we have this reconciliation coming on so someone from your past is returning to your life and this time around you realize that you're both ready to put the work into the relationship um, we have knight of swords we have six of swords we have the devil which is the capricorn card and then we have the emperor so it could be with an aries um, because the emperor came out it could be somebody with those qualities. It could be somebody who's, you know, kind of headstrong, kind of, maybe that's why it didn't work out the first time around because, you know, for some reason I, I feel like saying like the two of you were butting heads. Like you both wanted to be right. You both wanted to be in control. You both wanted to um, be the ones in charge and maybe that's what was the problem. But this time, this time around, it's about both of you being a little softer. Um, this also could represent, you know, if it wasn't Aries, it's about this time around you know what it is you want, you know, that you do want to get to know this person, that you are going to make that effort to let those walls down. You are going to make that effort to let them in. Okay, give your relationship a chance. So I do feel that, you know, obviously with the tower here that there was a breakup. It was somebody, you know, that you, you both went your separate ways. You had a break breakup because, you know, that was not working. And, but the tower is also about rebuilding. It's about wanting to rebuild this relationship with a stronger foundation and the both of you really being truthful and coming to each other like with an open mind and with the knowledge that, okay, we're going to have to work on this and we're going to have to make sure that we are really expressing our feelings and we are, you know, letting those walls down. Yeah, it's a different, 
It's a different feeling this time around. You know you have to approach this relationship differently. It can't be the way that it was before because obviously that wasn't working. But I feel like you have, you both have this connection to each other that you're like, oh, I just, I can't live with, with you know, I can't live with them, I can't live without them. But in order to live with them, you have to make choice changes. And I feel that, that you both have to make those changes. And again, we have Ace of Cups, so that also represents you know a a new relationship it also represents reconciliation but this time around that it's going to be um it's going to be different it's like a a new way to have an old relationship if that makes sense yeah knight of pentacles slow steady progress taking things slow, not rushing into anything, um, not forcing anything. Okay, reconciliation, Knight of Cups, reaching out, you know, I'm not sure if that means that person reached out or you're reaching out. Um, but one of you reaches out to the other one for the two of you to reconnect. Um, you may have some doubt. You may be like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I really feel like inside you know that the answer that you do want to do it. Um, and you may have some doubt, but you also have to go into it, you know, like you're afraid of it being the way that it was, but it's not going to be the way that it is if you approach it from a different point of view and, you, and you're and you like, okay, this time around, things have to be different. And with expressing that, that it's very rewarding and then you're able to move forward. Let's see. You can't let that doubt get in your mind. You can't let that be in the forefront. Like it may cross your mind, but you can't let that be in the forefront because it's almost like you're gonna go back to the way that things were. So you have to approach this, this reconciliation differently. And you know what? I'm sort of a big list maker, which I've said before in my videos is go ahead and write things down on a piece of paper. Like when you reconnect, maybe write those things down. Okay, this is this is what, how I want things to be different and this is what I'm going to give and this is what I'm going to do and you know, this is what I didn't like about things in the last time. And just look at those and see those so that you can sort of sort through all of those things in your head. I feel like maybe in your head you have so many things going on you know, because this reconciliation, because you're getting back together and you have so many things going on in your head that maybe if you write them down and you can kind of see them and organize them and kind of clarify them and maybe that would help you and give you that stability and that confidence um, this time around. And this reading is for that person that wants to get back together with that person. Obviously, if it, if it was a bad relationship, if it was a toxic relationship, if there was, you know, bad things going on, then that, that this reading is not for you. But this reading is for that person who you broke up with someone, but you still have them on your mind and you still feel like things could have worked out, but it didn't. But the two of you just needed some time apart and you've been on each other's mind. And for some reason, you know, however that may be, you've been thinking about each other and then you reconnect and you realize that you do want to be with that person and you you need to put the work in this time around on this relationship to make it work. Um, that's what this reading is for. That's, that's who this is for. You know that maybe you, maybe you had that, you know, breakup because you know, you had a lot, you both had a lot going on or you didn't have the time to put into the relationship or, you know, you just weren't ready, one of, or both of you weren't ready for a relationship at the time. You know, whatever, whatever that reason was. All 
All right, so let's clarify the emperor. Okay, so we have the four of pentacles, we have the hermit, and then we have the prince of swords. So it's about, that's what I feel like, is that there may be part of you that is, a, that is maybe not sure but like I said, take that time to yourself to write those things down, to sort of clear your thoughts, and then you will be ready to move forward to sort of, you know, your organ, because maybe this takes you by surprise and you're like, whoa, I really wasn't thinking about this. Like I was thinking about this, but I really wasn't expecting this for this person to contact me. And you're like, oh, okay, wait a minute. I, I need to sort through my thoughts first. And that's okay um, because then when you move forward, like you feel confident moving forward. Um, so let's do the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the wheel, it's different this time around. And you're ready to, to move forward. Like when, when you've sort, sorted through this, almost like the shock of the initial contact, <laughs> then you're ready to move forward. And it's good changes, it's positive changes, it's, it's, it's happiness, it's a new start. We have the sun coming up over the horizon, you know, and, and having that new beginning. Um, and having that new start and it's it's going to be different because like I said you're approaching this differently so let's do Capricorn yes again we have ace of cups Capricorn you are ready for this reconnection you are ready for this this new start you are ready to move forward and here you are king of pentacles the king of pentacles is somebody who is ready to put the work in who is also patient and like I said, you need to take things slow, you need to take your time, not rush anything, not push anything, not force anything. And it's almost like, you know, the two of you are going to start like being best friends. And then you're you're seeing that the other person's words <clears throat> are matching their actions. And that gives you that security knowing, okay, I can let some of my walls down because this time around, that person really is following through with their actions, with their words, with what they're saying. Um, and being patient and, and not forcing anything. Let's see. Um, what do I want to close out with? Let's see. I have... I made my own cards, so let's pull... Let's pick one of these. Overthinking, okay? I feel, it was f funny because I was thinking of, of this energy here, so overthinking. Don't overthink the situation, okay? Because that's what's going to destroy it. That's what's going to put that negative energy over there. Don't overthink it. And that's why I said to write those overthinking thoughts down on a piece of paper so you can see them, so you can sort through them. And I feel like that will just give you some calmness and um, some, you know, kind of release of all those thoughts that are in your head um, so that you don't over overthink this situation happening. All right, pretty cool. Now I see why I wanted to do the Romance Angel reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.